what do you make of Des Bryant and his future in Dallas? Because he's not a number one anymore. Can, and he's too expensive to be a number two, number three receiver. You people, you people, and I say you people in, in, in the greatest ways, not just you, Dan, but all the people in football, we get a hold of something sometimes. And we're like a dog with a bone. <laughs> so right now, Dez Bryant is the bone. And everybody, <laughs> listen, let me tell y'all something, man. Let that bone go. I, I went through this a couple years ago with all these Cowboy fans when they were wondering, we can let DeMarco Murray go. We can stop. You don't find number one receivers hanging off trees like leaves. So what you going to do? Let Dez go? Who you got to replace him? You think if they could find one of them more receivers, every team would have them litter. They would litter them. You, you don't find them this easily. And the Cowboys will be stupid, stupid but, but to Mike, let this boy go right now. The reason why it's a bone for sports fans, it's because it's the Cowboys. And we expect Dez to be better because he's shown us he can be better. You got a great running game. Yes. You got a better, you got a good quarterback. You got a great offensive this, line. Uh, Jason Witten, to me, it's tough for him to still be your starting tight end, in my opinion. Yeah. And I have a problem with Des Bryant getting paid that as a number one guy. Then that what goes along with that is you want your touches to prove you're a number one guy. Then you got issues there, Mike. Yeah, and, but now, now listen, and, and you just said it, you know, you, you know that Des Bryant, you've seen what Des Bryant could do. You've seen Des Bryant put up 16 touchdowns in a season. Now he has a new quarterback who we have just given – the old man tag to. It's like Dak has been around forever already playing football. And it's just his second year. He just finished his second year. And, and Dez has to bring Dak along. Tony Romo was something different. And Tony and I would talk about this sometimes. You know, Tony knew, you know, just how to handle a team's personality. He said, Mike, I would just throw, sometimes go off read just to make sure I get the ball to Dez because I wanted his positive energy. I wanted his positive energy. These are things... That, that a young Dak is going to learn Man, I, as he I, continues I, I the process down I the road. That. But, but I, I'm telling you right now, guys, it, it, back up. Back up <laughs> off 88 right now. And trust me, trust me, give it time. This was a tough year for the Dallas Cowboys. Nobody's talking about the thing that hung over their head all year long. It was a tough year. I say let's reload, shoot one more shot next year. Things don't go down. Then you start making change. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.